Very nice. It's so good, right? Yeah, it's darling. I mean, it's like, it's magical. I'm Chris Buck, and I'm a photographer. My work really divides quite evenly between commercial advertising work, magazine work, and personal projects. It's the mix of the three that makes things interesting. I grew up in Toronto, and I actually went to college in Toronto as well, at a school called Ryerson, and I studied photography. Interestingly, my father worked for Kodak, and it wasn't something I really thought about a lot as a kid. You know, it's just my dad's job. I do think that there's something about that that nice, beautiful. made photography seem not easy, but comfortable. It was just sort of part of the DNA of the family. After a college, I moved to New York. There was a eureka moment where I got really positive responses. Even though my early media interest was primarily in music, I very quickly pivoted to being interested in all areas of culture. Movie actors, directors, some local politicians, even business people. If I had to describe my visual style, I'd say there's a certain way I frame that is maybe a little counterintuitive. Oftentimes people are holding their bodies in uncomfortable or awkward positions. I'm trying to show humanity and vulnerability. I'm usually trying to be weird, but because I kind of execute with a light touch in a way that tends to be inviting, I think it kind of lands as humorous or witty. I'm really drawn to images and try to make images that are questions and not answers. Being invited to work on the cover for the Dick Johnson is Dead movie was a real thrill because I'm such a fan of the film. Hold me close, hold me back. It's breaking convention of how documentaries are typically done. Let's make most of the time that the dead shame. Just the idea that I might ever lose this man is too much to bear. He's my dad. Filmmaker Kirsten Johnson wanted to make a film about her father who was beginning to get dementia and she wanted to document kind of who he was while he was still fully present. And so she made this film where she kind of weirdly stages his death in different ways. It's super playful and inviting while also being really serious and personal. The chance to work with Kirsten, who is such a gifted filmmaker, I jumped in like head first. Yeah, do more crazy poses. <laughs> when I met up with Kirsten in person and was talking about ideas and approach, we did talk about where her father was at and what I should expect the day of the shoot. Oh man, sweetie, your, your father is, is a wreck. His stages of dementia were getting worse and that he was not in the same place he was when they filmed the movie. That he may not even remember meeting me like an hour or two into the shoot. And he might lose his pathway partway through and we had to be ready for that. It's a little warmer over here. Try that. What is this movie about? It's about you coming back to life over and over again. And this is your, this is your think, most recent resurrection. I think you're killing me off again. I, I'm, <laughs> today, we're, bringing, we're taking you to heaven. Okay, relax your other hand, good. And I want to see you too. But I want to reassure her that I was confident we could get it. That is so weird. <laughs> I asked her, is there anything you need from us? We knew that we we're gonna get Dick in the room and get Kirsten in the room and just be sensitive to what's going on with Dick, what's going on between them. That she's having to both manage him in a professional way as a filmmaker, but also as a daughter. 
You're actually the best man in the world. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. As a photographer and a portrait shooter, I understand too that part of her relationship is made through working on a project with him. She's making it about him, but she's also making it with him. And so there's something about that that is quite beautiful and is part of her process of her understanding of her father and getting to know him and getting closer to him as well as processing losing him. I definitely shoot a lot because I don't know what's going to work. I always try to do like five to seven setups. If I can, if I can, if I can get three, I do three. When I shoot, it's a very simple recipe, three elements, background, lighting, and some kind of gesture that feels meaningful. Yeah, this is kind of what I'm aiming for from the beginning. Yeah. Just that look of joy. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So much of the appeal of the film is in Dick himself, in his face. There's such a humanity and warmth and a connectedness to the world that he has. One of the key things in being a still photographer is knowing that you need to tell the whole story in one image. Wow. Woo. You don't need to be any taller. Okay. <laughs> With Dick, we needed both surprise and delight and awe all at once. That's funny. Can we try that? Yeah. Oh, uh, look at that. We'll make an animation of them turning. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm very happy with the way we did it. I feel like it really aligned properly with the integrity of the film, with fitting a vision for how you can tell this whole story in one image.